it's day 72 and we are going back to mile 878. We've just boarded our little ferry which is taking us from Vermilion Valley Resort where we had the most wonderful night, homely hospitality and the bacon and eggs I dreamed up, dreamed of while I was walking up Muir Pass. We've eaten, eaten and eaten and I'm so full and we've just stopped for our walk to Mammoth and I'm sure that we've all got more than enough after not having a, just eating everything on our last part. The Edison Lake is an earth dam built, I think in 1954, and named after Thomas Edison, who invented the incandescent light bulb in 1879. So we're heading over in a northerly direction in the boat. It's about 15 horsepower, it's going to take us a little while, it's not the usual ferry to start walking again. Edison and Dave's taken us on a tiki tour to show us the Earth Dam. Again, having returned to mile 878.8 and in this Sierra section which runs parallel to Highway 375 you leave the trail to resupply and walk back to where you left off. So we're back at the Mono Creek, we'd call it the, a river in New Zealand due to the flow and now we're going to head up towards Silver Pass. It was well worth the visit to Vermilion Valley Resort. Eclectic, rustic and homely hospitality. We were the first hikers there for the season. We were given fresh fish out of the lake, rainbow trout and all sorts of goodies on the house and it was a most enjoyable stay. Our packs are laden with food and we've put on weight and we're all happy. So onwards we go to Mammoth to meet Paul. And there's our trail.
late afternoon and we're heading towards Silver Pass. It's been a warm day and we use all these techniques to stop ourselves post holding. Whoops! One of them is to slide, slide your foot and hope that you don't sink. <laughs> And the other is to tiptoe and hope also that you don't sink. If it was really bad, we would stop and put the tent up. But I'm currently just gently sliding my way across the slope. Uh, we'd, we don't need the GPS, it's obvious where we're going. Just avoid the snow and we hope to camp quite high on the other side. If I pan around, we can see Troy, he's covered his lips, they're badly burnt. How's it going? <laughs> How's it going, Troy? <laughs> oh dear. Post holding isn't much fun really. It's hard darn work. At least it doesn't have a crust that hurts the shins. And it's a really pleasant day. I love it up here. Ooh, another one bites the dust. And it's around 5pm and we've reached Silver Pass. Although that's not the end because we have to go up over the high point and on the other side there is probably some well, a tent sites marked. There are some very spectacular mountains.
Strange as it may sound When I'm still things seem to come around 